Okay, guys, we're going to do a little extension today with Unit 5, dealing with word problems, application with linear equations. This is also your number theory, okay? All right, Mary ordered lunch for herself and several co-workers on Monday and Tuesday. On Monday, she paid $14 for five sandwiches and four drinks. On Tuesday, she paid $12 for four of each. Find the price of a sandwich and the price of a drink. So we got two answers here. Price of the sandwich and price of the drink. Alright, so let's identify our variables. Let's let S equal sandwiches and D equal drinks. We need to write the equation for Monday. So the total was $14. So that goes on one side of your equation, and it was five sandwiches and four drinks. And for Tuesday, the total was $12, and it was four of each. Okay, so we need to solve for S and for D. So think of section 1, 2, and 3, and we have 4D and 4D, so what we can do is we can use elimination. Because it will cancel out the variable D. So let's do that. 14 equals 5s plus 4d. 12 equals 4s plus 4d. And what we're going to do here is we're going to subtract. 14 minus 12 is 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. And the d cancels out. So s equals 2. Well, what does that mean? s represents sandwiches. So the sandwiches cost $2. Right now we got to find the cost of the drink. So let's pick our first equation and let's substitute in for S and solve for D. So D equals one, so that means each drink is one dollar. Okay, let's do another one. Sharon owns a restaurant. She charges two dollars and seventy-five cents for two eggs and one piece of toast. She also charges 75 cents for one egg and one piece of toast. Write and solve a system of equations to determine how much she charges for each egg, so there's our first answer, and for each toast, and there's our second one. So we've got two answers here, okay? Let's define our variables. Let x equals eggs and y equals toast. Okay, so for the two eggs and one toast, two eggs and one toast, the total was two seventy five. So it's two X, one Y, and then for one egg and one toast, the total was one seventy five, and it's one X plus one Y. All right, again we're going to use elimination. We're going to cancel out the Y. Okay, so when we subtract, we get 
get 1 equals 1x. One so x equals 1. x is your eggs. So how much does she charge for each egg? One dollar. Now we're going to find out what the toast cost. By substituting in for x. So therefore the toast cost 75 cents. Alrighty, we'll do one more with you and then let you try one on your own. Jackson has eight coins worth $1.40. Some of the coins are nickels and some are quarters. Write and solve a system of equations to determine how many of each coin Jackson has. Okay. So, let's let Q equal the quarter and N equal the nickel. Equation of number of coins. Where there's a total of eight coins, and we don't know how many quarters or nickels we have. Write the equation of the value of the coins, okay? Well, the value is worth a dollar forty. So we have twenty-five cents times the quarter. Five cents times the nickel, how many nickels you have, will give us the dollar forty. All right, on this one, let's think substitution. And here's why. We can solve for Q. by subtracting n. So q equals 8 minus n. And then our second equation, what we can do is we can substitute n for q and solve for n. Twenty-five cents times eight is two dollars. Messed up there. All right. Combine your like terms. Subtract the two dollars. Move it over here. So I have a negative sixty cents equals a negative twenty cents times n, and then I got to divide by the negative twenty cents. Therefore. N equals positive 3. So we have 3 nickels. Let's substitute into our first equation. 8 equals Q plus N. We'll substitute in for N. So then Q equals 5. Need help? Look at the board.
right, guys, that's it. Have a good one.